you to the St. Stephen CMB Church, 2427 Columbus Road, Valley, Alabama, where the Reverend Larry Threes is our pastor. We're coming to you this morning. We'll be singing songs of, and words of encouragement, prayer, and we will be uplifting the name of Jesus. We know that you're home. Listen to us through satellite or through your phone. We want you to say that you are welcome to be with us today. We are in service today. We don't have Today, but we are here in the name of Jesus. Due to the coronavirus, we will still be open for the name of Jesus. Father, and 
you this morning, God. Father, we thank you this morning, God, that you've covered them, Father, under the blood of Jesus this morning, God. Father, we put a hedge of protection all around them this morning, Father. And God, we say thank you for them this morning, God. But Father, they're putting themselves at risk this morning, God. But Father, we thank you this morning, God, that you had them no hurt from the day to come now them this morning, Father. And God, we say thank you this morning, God. Father, we lift up every church door this morning, Father. Yes. We lift up every pastor, every father, oh, ministry to you this morning, God. Father God, even though we may not be in the building, Father God, but Father God, we know that the church lives on the inside of us this morning, Father. And Father God, we can praise you no matter where we are this morning, Father. Yes. Whether we're in the building, whether we're in our cars, whether we're in our homes this morning, yes. Father. We can still give you all the praise this yes. morning, Father. And God, we just want to say thank you this morning, God. Father God, we're turning back to you this morning, God. And Father, we just say thank you this morning, God. Father, we lift up all of our family members, God, our church family, Father. We lift them up to you this morning, God. Keep them covered, God, under the blood of Jesus this morning, God. And Father God, we just want to say thank you this morning, God. I lift up my family to you this morning, God. Father, keep them covered, God. And Father, we lift up Pastor to you this morning, God. Father God, we thank you this morning, God, that you're anointed from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet this morning, God. And Father, as he comes forth with your word this morning, Father. Father God, we just thank you this morning, God, that we open our ears this morning, God, to hear, Father. And Father God, when it's all said and done, God, we still got to say thank you, Father. Father God, we're going to trust you, God, in spite of what we may see this morning, God. But Father, we just continue to look to you. We continue to look to the hills when we come to our help. Because all of our help comes from you this morning, Father. And God, we just want to say thank you this morning, God. And Father, we give your name all the praise this morning, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our scripture reading will be coming from Psalms 24. And it reads, the earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof. For he had founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? Verse 9, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the king of glory. A New Testament. St. John, the third chapter, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. May God continue to motivate the hearers and the doers of his most holy word. Amen. Reading from the New England National Version, it said, Now Jericho was tightly shut, shut up because of the Israelite. No one went out and no one came in. Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hand along with his kings and fighting men. March around the city once with all the armed men, all the armed men. Do this six times a day. Have seven priests carry trumpets around horns in the front of the ark. On the seventh day, marching around the city seven times with the priest blowing the trumpet. When you hear uh, them sound a loud blast of the trumpet, have all the people give a loud shout, a loud shout. Then the walls of the city will collapse and the people will go up, every man straight in. And for, the, for a subject this morning, we will use bringing down the walls. As I look around in this society, I see numerous walls. And when I look at these walls, 
It saddened me to know the reason why they are there. The reason these walls exist is because of disobeying God's command that we should love everyone. But we have built up a society of hate. But Jesus told us that the time will come when father will be against sons and daughters against mothers. And all family will be operating in a dysfunctional mode. But as I look back on the scripture, when Joshua had the hard task of tearing down walls, let us look at what he had to do. Number one, he had to believe God. He had to believe that God would be with him when he tackled this huge problem. Here he was facing not only an army, but a whole city, a city that had these huge walls around it. He didn't have dynamite to blow it down. He didn't have a tractor to push it down. He didn't even have a battering ram to knock in the door. All he had was God promised that he would bring down the walls. Now I can imagine how Joshua must have felt when he tried uh, to tell this to the rest of the people. I can imagine how Joshua must have felt when he told them God told him to march around the wall seven times. Can you imagine when he tried to say this to the awful? He sound foolish. <laughs> when he told the people that if you march around the wall seven times, God will break down the walls. Right. Seven times of marching around in seven days and we will have the city. Uh, I can hear the people began to complain saying that we need a new leader. We need to call a meeting so we can get rid of Joshua for he has lost his mind. Oh yes, somebody check out a mental institution. To get this boy some help. We have these same walls in our church. When the pastor say that God has given him a direction to go. We don't even believe that God talked with him. Even though we call him pastor. To have a pastor that is not the job of a city council. It is not the job of the president, and it definitely not the job of a governor. All right. It is a job that can be only appointed by God. So it is his duty to hear from God. And we can be so influenced by the world that we expect everything to be ran according to the world. So anything that God says, we don't believe. And church is sound very foolish. All right. The wall between pastors and members, the wall between husband and wife, you're in a home with man-made walls. Yeah. Then you find mental walls, emotional walls, spiritual walls. How do we Alright. I believe I do like Joshua. I mark like Gandhi. I mark like King that marched from Selma to Montgomery. Alright. Why seven days? Because in God turn the number seven is completion. Right. I believe if we complete what God have given us, the wall will come down. Come on now, Pastor. When we complete the work in the church, the wall 
gonna die. Right. When we complete the work in our young people's ministry, the wall between the youth and the old will come down. Yeah. When the officers and the pastor complete their work, the wall between them will truly come down. I know the wall will come down. I remember when I was lost out in the world. And I came to my senses and I gave in and I gave over to the teaching of Jesus the Christ. I thought the wall would come down. But when I looked up, it was just day one. When I started to spend time in Sunday school and at the 11 o'clock service, I thought the wall would come down. But on my way home, I, I slipped and fell. And it would just stay too. When I started to, to go in the Bible study, I thought the walls would come down. But before the cock crow, I had messed up a bit. It would just stay three. When I started to Star. 
that it arose not with some power, not with a little bit of power, but with all power. And that power brought down the walls that were right around. Yes! Yeah. Thank you.